Lily stand light punch is now a 5 frame startup button down from 6 frames. Lily's normals are good, but notoriously slow, and her only 4 frame stand light kick has extremely short range. Having a 5 frame normal with good range is really important for challenging the opponent's tick throws or block strings. It does give her something to combo into after drive rush on medium kick. I guess now is as good a time as any to mention that most of Lily's normals besides her lights are extremely combo unfriendly. So even though the extra scaling on light normals is a uniformly applied change across the cast, it could be said that it hurts Lily in particular because she doesn't have that many other combo routes. Stand light kick is now plus 5 on hit, minus 1 on block. She usually just chained this normal into her light punches, so it didn't really matter that the frame data wasn't very good before. But this really helps her counter hit route and her minus 4 punish, since now in either scenario she can link directly into medium kick. Crutch medium kick is now 9 frame startup, down from 10. From a combo standpoint, this isn't a huge deal, but it does slightly improve Lily's low presence, which is not very good. Crouch Hard Punch is easier to whiff punish and recovery. This button is carrying the lion's share of the weight in Lily's neutral, so this is a painful but warranted nerf. Like Guile, Lily's two-hit sweep is now only a low for the first hit. The first hit has more hits done, but since the second hit almost always connects immediately after, this only matters for keeping Lily frame positive on trades. Lily's command grab now has less scaling when you combo into it. I don't know of any combos besides Drive Crumple and Dizzy, but you get an extra 300 some damage in those contexts. Lily has a taller hurtbox for the whiff animation, to make neutral jump punishes a bit easier I suppose. Medium Condor Wind pushes the opponent out less, on hit and block. On hit this is great because Lily is plus 2, and often inside SPD range, so she can immediately push a mix up. On block it's not great, since your minus 8 and the extremely high pushback was the only reason it often wasn't punished. That being said, it still pushes out quite a bit. EX Condor Wind has been sped up. It will now combo from stay medium kick or crouch medium kick. This is a cool ender since it gets you a wind stock and an extension in the corner. It also works from punish counter light normals, which is really good for Lily's punish game. The extra speed and shorter total duration give her a couple other random new combos. Wind EX Uppercut now has a new hitbox when the opponent isn't hit stun, improving combo consistency. This is mostly good for picking up those distant corner juggles. Heavy and EX Windspire now throw the opponent farther away on hit. For EX at least, I can guarantee this is so you wouldn't get mid-screen juggles into Super 1, which was sped up this patch, from 13 frames to 10 frames. If you do hit the corner, Wind Heavy Spire now does lead to Super 1. Notably, any crumple into the medium Windspire is good. as well as High Connect, Windy X Uppercut, Windy X Dive in the corner. Lily is very reliant on Super for Wake Up, so a faster Super 1 which doesn't lose to meaty lights is a huge improvement. On that note, so is the ability to Wake Up Drive Reversal. Super 2 got a little extra damage. When doing it from EX Fire, it now comes out a bit faster, improving combo consistency. Here are Modern Lily's new low resource auto combos. Lily was usually regarded to be a low tier character by most people, and most of these changes don't really affect anything significant. In fact, there's a surprising number of nerfs. Now I've been a Lily main for a while myself, and I can say she doesn't really have any bad matchups that gatekeep her from taking majors, so she doesn't really need any buffs per se, but I thought they'd give her more than this. That being said, she just won combo breaker, so obviously she's good enough already to win events if you just play well.